Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time we were at Martha's Rest, we basically got the bridge being built quicker from favors. Always good to know people. And we found out sad truths about what's happening to the bearers, but anyway, oh, not that one, that one. <laughs> we're gonna be continuing on. We're still with Jill. I believe the bridge has probably now been fixed. And we're gonna make the East Ball. It's very exciting. Oh yeah, we said, you're not Sid, but we did say goodbye to Sid. And there are side missions here, so actually let's have a look at them. I have to find him before the Imperials do. A bearer or a chocobo? Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. Maybe. You look like you're in a hurry. This one's Where ugly though. Not far, I hope. Well, I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here, if you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Why not? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. So, I with thought- With your help, we might catch up with him yet. Originally. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him but out. They were actually- they found him yet? You Physically catch branded. branded. Bastard standing around clucking like They're old ends. born with the brand, I think. That fucking snake played me false. Acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Ironic. Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. You will do no come such on thing. Come Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Was that the way we came? False friends. Wow. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is um, a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? I don't want to start two side quests at once. So I'll do this one first. Can I speak to you? You went here earlier. <laughs> you don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes lantern. then. All right, thank you. Okay. So he's down there. This was where we were the last time just trying to get all the collectibles. <laughs> That's one of our branded. Do we take it? He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. He oh, can't have gone far. Jill. I better I think. keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> Norris! Ooh. Oh, his lamb. Is he in there, the hut? A lantern. <clears throat> the one Norris was carrying, no doubt. Surely there should be tracks. Could Toggle At least not I know which way he went. Sniff him out. Yeah. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Ew. Ooh. 
<laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's oh, so how you wait. stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me. Are they physically branded that? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. Aww. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. <laughs> You're no Imperial dog. <laughs> Far from it. I've been called worse. <laughs> oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ooh. Ron gave it to me. All right. Those I'll friends. Hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial surge before it begins. A bear Ow. without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. Where to go? This way. Ooh, no, no, not this way. But there is something here. So I will get it and I will bypass the fights. That's one of our branded. <laughs> oh, that was playing the same dialogue. Oh, the dude that was there is gone. There's different music here. Oh, we there you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse torn He's apart so by smart. monsters. And this. Unless he gets found out, then he won't be smart. Let but me see still. that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... No. <laughs> He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Ooh. Thank you. Quest complete. Yay. <laughs> right. Where's that other mission? Down here. Whee. Here, you're that bear who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff oh, into the bloody no. swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. That's cool, it's though. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. How I can't they promise use anything. The, um, 
Well, just promise you'll look. The crystal is too ah, cool. There may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed the it. The fish. Claimed it. All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, then. Ah, they're easy. <sighs> Sounds like I need to Ooh. break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. I know. I'll get it for you. Come on, guys. <laughs> Hi, Togo. I think he teleports her. Oh, she does. Oh no, but Torko walks down now. Ooh, that's changed. Uh, oh, there you are. Oh, you guys are different, actually. There we go. No point spending Yay. more time down here than I have to. This way. Oh, we've got to give love to talk. No, strokes. Get it, boy. Yay. Right, come on, guys. Let's go. Membrane of something covers this crystal, which still in its holder otherwise appear undamaged. You found it! Oh, thank you! <laughs> <sighs> nice! Any longer out in the sun, <laughs> and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful imagine. next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the cash to town. It was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its <laughs> purse strings more every it day. Sounded like he was about to Lose this that. <laughs> little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Quest complete. Ooh, a thousand gil and more materials. Right. Let's just go now, Jill. Holding on. Let's make for East Pool. The bridge to East Pool's men. Um, oh, wait, I don't know what way to go. Oh, this is a bridge. Okay. Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please, even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. Green. Eaves. Don't you worry about them boards. Oh, Bannard! They use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. <laughs> Easily could have done that in the first space, but blight. it's pretty even further whatever. south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Like right now. You know what to do. Over here. 
Get him! Get him, boys! Is that it? Wow. Easy. Some bees. You know what to do, boy. Well, there's a guy over there. How did I get hurt? Wow. Sick of toggle. There we go. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Ugh, curse my luck, a branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You and the Marfers, are you? One and Good. only. She won't well, because me and you see you there. So. Not while there's wolves about. We one and only deal with them ourselves. Laid out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? I suppose. All right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. It's hey, that's is what so I'm talking good. about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder. Finishing off our bait. Well, I think I'm going that way anyway. So. Well, you've seen to every last one of them. Go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right. Okay. Off you go then. Beast against beast. Oh, another one. Another one bites the dust. Oh wait, no. This is just the mission. Sick of Toggle! Get him! Give them all you've got, boy! You know what to do, boy! Get him! Sick of Toggle! Get him, boy! There, boy! This Bryce and let him know the road's safe. I don't feel like Jill is as strong as Sid was, but mind you, Sid was older. I guess he had more practice. Let's try. You know what to do, boy. Not this time. Garuda, lend me your strength. Garuda. 
Toggle. Where are we going? Up there. Toggle, that sounds scary. Stop. Stop walking. <laughs> Speak with Bryce. Well, how long that bait will last? <laughs> are you Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. And what and about it? Him, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. Beast against oh, Served okay. us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, Jim. I have no master. Right. Ooh, a thousand more gil. <gasps> the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Ooh. <laughs> That does so you know much damage doing. now. Give them all you've got. Sick of Togo. Get him. <laughs> That's not fun, though. Why do you do this? I'll leave them be. I'll leave them be. They don't sub. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Not the scarecrows. <laughs> this actually does remind me so much of um, a plague tale. Ooh. Hopefully, we uh, come across a blacksmith soon so I can do some upgrades. There might be one here. East pool. Heal. <laughs> East Quiet. Pool. Isn't it? Yes. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Who are you? It's me, Hannah. Rodney 
Lady Murdoch's wife. Lady Anna. I don't remember who that is. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. It kind of has. The Lord Marcus Had a bit. and Jill too. It's so <laughs> good to see you both again. <gasps> oh. Don't tell anyone we're here it's though. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <laughs> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Is this smug? We should be delighted. Aww. That's so cute. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. They won. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. I don't know who Rodney is. I can't remember. He must have been one of the guards. What one though? I don't remember. Well, now it's awkward. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. His mum? Or should I say, her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes Wait. here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Wait, did his mum meet Would my remarry? mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard then. Her husband must have died. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I was, I was thinking it was him. I, I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. <laughs> Don't lose control. <laughs> Can't turn into an icon now. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Oh my god, yeah. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. That would make him feel so guilty. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. 
That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. He's not dead. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others... Probably killed the others, but not Joshua. <laughs> Sorry, that's all the time. Why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. They save trauma to bond over, you know. Do you remember that night on the balcony? No. When we looked up at the moon? The same. I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Aww. They're not going to. No. Damn it. Had a bit of hope. <laughs> we should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Say goodnight back. Sleep well. Oh my god. Talk about no manners. Clive. Togo. Thank you, Mediana. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? <laughs> Before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. His sword! He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Aww. They suit you well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I Power should thank couple. you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well. Guys, my lord forward. and lady. Why are they being and so you, suspicious? Lady Hannah. Ooh. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. This is, I think, it's fit in. The promo pictures and stuff. Harvest stain again this year. So I'm excited to see it. Sure this oh, goblin coin. Maybe. It's not so old guy anywhere else. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. <laughs> Anything take your fancy? Oh no, oh my god, my, yeah, my new one is so much cooler. Safe yeah, no. travels. Where are you off to then? Sorry, I didn't hear or the rest of the, told you. what she was saying. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. 
relic of the fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Ah. We're we gonna go inside there then. That's interesting. Wee, 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 wee. Oh. I was having fun. You. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. Shield and dominant. You're mistaken. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> Just baited him out. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always Ooh. swore that she would never part with them <gasps> until the day Elwyn's sons returned. Not the and plural. now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. Does no one know what happened to Joshua? My bearers. Wait, what? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was San dissolved Brick. and they no longer had no, any hope Maybe like to San Brek. Hey. San Brek. San Brek. Back in your father's day. Any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, then? and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I mean, we don't I'm even have no a master. home anymore. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an Aww. old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. Where can he you find sits him? by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Back in the day. Right, where's the well? As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. <laughs> Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Over here. Is he in the well? He's not here. <laughs> Check in the well. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Oh. 
Right, let's ask around. Okay, fine. Hope he's not. Someone must have seen him. Really? So they, okay, yeah, no, you can't get in the wall. <laughs> well, now, unfamiliar faces. Funny. What brings you to East Pool, travelers? Because I'm Lord. We're looking Rosfield. for an elderly bearer. Yes. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. <laughs> well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. <sighs> oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around Bye. then. Thank you. So in the first part, I thought it was Benedicta with the guy. I think it might be his mum though. Thinking back on it now. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. Oh no way. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Oh. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing. Huh? so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. Okay. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head That's to the That's why she's speaking to everyone. And he's just being quiet. <laughs> I wonder if Martha could spare us a few bushels. Martha! Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Has something happened to him? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. No one's seen him either. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? <laughs> I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Okay. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. We'll find him. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Mm. 
I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. I want him to be glow. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Sorry, that's so cool though. Uh, this way? I really hope something hasn't happened to him. Why would he be out this far though? There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. <gasps> we oh can't no. lead them to the old man. They need to die. <laughs> Agreed. I mean, he's not that far away. Sorry, I need to sneeze. Right. <laughs> it to go on a bit longer but it's fine <laughs> are you all right my friend come on let's go home your grace you came do not me. take a step back i waited for you so long but you finally came i'm not who you think Oh, he thinks he's his dad? Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come. And at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. Oh. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. <laughs> for you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. We're gonna take him back there, right? We're just, we're just gonna let him go by himself. Yeah, we took him back. Good, good. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. What if is If it weren't for Lady Hannah blight, selling though? half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. 
I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. Uh, as soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak Okay, so it wasn't final good word. Thank then. you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, <laughs> and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, Look she's done for, for us. each other. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe anon. journey. What's anon? Quest complete. They were this close. No Toggles are failing. The blight is leading me either from the soil, and when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life, and no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. <laughs> well, I mean, they wouldn't be, they able, be able to survive. To, use any magic here. to see to worry the about. no monsters, as if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. What's dropping? I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It's the tower again. It was beautiful. Aww. Did we pass through here then? Is baby Clive? Did it. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Together. Can you imagine if the other dude actually isn't Joshua and I've just been saying that it is the entire time? Phoenix Gate Ruins. Untouched in the many winters since the stronghold's fall, the scars of that fateful night linger still upon her walls. Little rhyme. Phoenix Gate Ruins, the Imperial Province of Rosaria. Oh. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Is that a paw print? Let's have a look around. Wow. 
Okay, as much as I really don't want to, I'm getting really tired. So I think that we're gonna have to leave that there for today. But not before we do a bit of reading. The Night of the Flames, an Imperial attack on Viserion forces stationed at Phoenix Gate made under the cover of night in the year 860. Archduke Elwyn Rosfield was killed in the fighting as were his two sons. Though the bodies of the latter were never recovered, having thought to have been wholly consumed by hellfire. Okay, so yeah, everyone thought both Joshua and Clive were dead. The attack was wildly rumoured to have been facilitated by the traitorous Duchess Annabella. It was done by the mum, although official explanations attempted to shift the blame onto the phoenix having run inexplicably rampant. Rampant, rampant. The Phoenix. The Warden of Fire, last seen on the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate in the year 860, when the young Joshua Rosfield lost control of his powers. The Phoenix first awakened among the moats of fire, an ancient tribe who dwelled in the western reaches of storm. And the careful preservation of bloodlines among the Rosarian nobility ensured that its dominant would always be born in the Ducal line. Is it a Frit? Ifrit? A fire aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in an infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. His reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that his dominant was none other than Clive Rosfield. The remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what came to be known as the Night of the Flames, the castle's invasion by Sa Sambraquas saboteurs in the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake. The earth is still riddled with fissures and tears, testament to the ferocity of the fight that unfolded here. The gate itself was buried beneath piles of soot-stained rubble and with it was Zaria's pride, falling as the duchy did to the empire not long after. Hmm. The ruins of Phoenix Gate are still in and silent, much as they were on the day after the disaster 13 years before. Yet I miss the shattered stone work and blackened beams that Clive recognises only too well. He catches sight of something entirely unexpected. The hooded man he's, he has long been chasing. Desperate to uncover the truth, Clive and Jill pursue the figure into a catacombs. Ooh, that's gonna be so interesting to play next time. I'm gonna save up for that. I'm gonna save though. His outfit changed. But yeah, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna leave it there for today. I'm so excited, especially with that little synopsis of what's gonna happen next chapter mission, I guess. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there for today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next part of Final Fantasy 16. Okay, bye.